I wish that other countries could have taken coronavirus or COVID-19 a lot more seriously when it first started. Hi, I'm Joelle from Singapore. In Singapore, we've actually had our alert levels raised to Doscon Orange in early February. It means that the disease is severe but it's not widespread. Up to about two weeks ago, we've only had 200 cases and no death. In the last two weeks, things escalated. From 200 over cases, today we have 802 cases. We actually had panic buy situation. So it's a gradual tightening um, of rules and increasing new measures and escalation. You see the markings on the chairs? We are all sitting one chair apart. In Singapore, we've had at least two months to get used to this new normal. That's been challenging for our system, right? And also for a lot of the locals, our um, I guess psychological and mental well-being. People feel that you know government has been keeping things under control. The health system is able to cope. A lot of the essential services, supermarkets are still obviously open. There are restrictions into the malls, not more than um, X number of people. So we just ordered our lunch by Grab Delivery. So the food deliveries are still open. So we are having pakote for lunch. Oh, my pantry is always stocked because I have two boys and boys are perpetually hungry. So. Um, they eat like maybe 20 times a day, so I, I always need to have a lot of food. The pantry is pretty well stocked, lots of um, nuts. And here's our fresh food. Local schools are still open. They are now switching to four days next week, so they have one day of e-learning and four days in school. So my children have had Chinese um, Pusi Lao Shi. He wanted to come over, but we said, oh, let's do a Skype call. We did pretty well, you know. They just share their screen on Skype and um, home tutoring can be done on Skype. In some other respects, um, life is a little bit different. Uh, the last week I was also working from home. So working from home is not um, a common thing and it took a bit of adjustment because um, there was definitely the expectation that people should be online and contactable, which um, actually caused some, I think, mental stress for for me especially, you know, and it's, it's almost like you're we have to be constantly present. Actually, for the last one week, we've been prepping ourselves for a lockdown situation that our freedoms, um, our way of life could be in a way very different tomorrow or the day after if there were more escalations and we think if we do need to go into a complete lockdown. So it's a fairly fragile existence, I think. We've just been preparing ourselves by going on with life with minimal disruptions.